Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. USS Georgia returned to service March 28th after being converted to a guided missile submarine. Georgia joins the three other subs in its class as a quick strike platform. The subs will remain in service another 20 years. Check out April's All Hands magazine for more information on Georgia. Navy leadership met at the Washington Navy Yard March 25th to discuss the Navy's personnel accountability system. The system is used to locate sailors and their families in dire situations. Make sure that they're loaded into the, uh, uh, into the system and uh, by exercising uh, this capability, that's how we're getting better. And we've got a, a, a big national level exercises coming up the uh, uh, first week in May is where we continue to stress that over a wide uh, area in the United States. It is important for all sailors and their families to make sure their information is updated in DEERS. Personnel from the Center for Career Development visited the Washington, D.C. area for a career management symposium this week. Briefs addressed force shaping, mentorship, and new Navy initiatives. You got to shake up the chief's mess, make sure we reiterate what they have learned being a chief, and say, hey, let's get back to the fundamentals of leadership management. This is what we're going to talk about today. This is what we need to improve on in the Navy. And then I'm going to talk to your first-line leaders who are down in the deck plates with the sailors because that's the ones the sailors are going to first and talking to them. And they got to have that fundamental skills and leadership management to be able to communicate with that sailor. Ellenberg added the goal was to give sailors the information to make career decisions. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.